So we're gonna be experimenting with a new sub-series on our channel. We're kind of doing the opposite of our main content where I take objects and attempt to make it the most impractical and expensive way possible. So this is gonna be the opposite of kind of affordable, easy projects in case you happen to be inspired by what I'm doing and want to try it yourself, but at a much more uh, reasonable, rational level. Generally in the future, we're gonna have actual experts help with this and show you how to do something really cool related to what we're covering. But we never really managed to find a telescope maker to help me, which is part of why I failed. And because it failed, I'm kind of desperate to make an actual working telescope. I'm gonna make a copy scope, which if you aren't familiar, is a really basic telescope that uses an old lens from a copier. And you can get something like this. This was $5 at a local supply store. And we were also able to get some other lenses and a mirror. And the rest of it we were able to get at a hardware store. And together, it all comes in for less than $45. And with a little basic assembly, we're gonna have a pretty decent telescope. So, let's get started. Here are some of the other tools you'll need for this project. A tape measure, something you can measure a 45 degree angle, and a permanent marker a hacksaw or something else that can cut through a PVC pipe, and a cutting tool that can cut glass without shattering it. In our case, we're using a Dremel tool with a cutting wheel and a grinding wheel. You also might need a clamp and some painter tape, and of course, some work gloves so you don't cut off a finger. First off, we'll make a right angle adapter. This allows you to look through the telescope at a more comfortable angle. Take the PVC T-joint and mark a 45 degree angle. This is where the mirror will go and will reflect the image from the side opening to the top opening. Next, take the two foot PVC pipe and cut it down to about a foot and a half. This will get it roughly the length needed for the eyepiece, but you might need to adjust it later depending on the actual focal length of your objective lens. Place the now cut T onto your mirror and mark the outline. This will be your cutting mark. Use a Dremel or other tool to cut the glass. It may be helpful to put some painter's tape over the glass and cut into that. This helps reduce the risk of glass shattering during the cutting. Round off any sharp corners that you could cut yourself on using the grinding attachment to dull the sharp edges of the glass. With those parts cut, we'll move on to assembling the main portion of the telescope. Combine the reducer piece and two couplers to form the middle portion of the telescope that will hold everything together while also allowing you to adjust the focal length. Next, take your black spray paint and paint the insides of all of your PVC parts. Painting in black reduces any glares or reflections you might get while looking through the scope. The outside of the scope is less important but let's paint it black, just for consistency. Next, let's take the copier lens, put it into the PVC piece that was chosen for the front of the scope. Inside there should be a lip that the lens sits snugly on. Then fill in the cavity around the lens with Gorilla Glue, which will expand as it dries, securing the lens permanently. Next, let's glue together the pieces for the right angle adapter. Put a small line of glue along the bottom of the T-joint and affix the mirror you previously cut. It's helpful to use a clamp or a piece of tape to hold the mirror onto the eyepiece until the super glue sets. Once the Gorilla Glue has expanded and dried, it's time to finish the lens mount. Put super glue on both ends you're going to connect and then place them together. It's important at this stage to apply pressure to ensure the seal dries tightly. Now to finish the eyepiece. Grab the lenses you're using for the eyepiece and mount it to the end of the right angle adapter. The best eyepiece lenses that I was able to find were actually jewelry loops. In my case, I also use a small section of PVC pipe to help hold the lens in place. Finally, insert the extension tube with the eyepiece into the telescope body and test the focal length. This is where you may need to cut off some additional inches of the extension tube to get the focal length just right. While not the most powerful telescope, the Copyscope is a fun, cheap entry-level telescope that should give you some nice views. Except, it's been nothing but clouds the past few weeks, so I guess I'll have to do a follow-up video later once the weather clears and I can show you how it actually turned out.